My name is Tim Bennix and this is a Turbo Tutorial. So in this quick tutorial, we will be looking at how you can create internal API routes in Nuxt 3 and show whatever data comes out of these on the screen. And actually, it's not that complicated because Nuxt 3 has a bunch of convenience methods built in and we'll be using these today so it won't be super advanced we'll just go over the basics and you'll see how easy it is so let's go into the laptop here i'll show you my vs code and my browser and all the things we need anyways we're in the browser here now and as you can see this is a very clean setup of a just new Nux project. There's not even anything in the config. So in my app.view, I am querying the API slash friends API route that I made by using use fetch. And you can see there's an await here and it's in a script setup tag. And because of this, there's top level await. So you don't have to do complicated things. It just works like this. And then we bind the data that comes from that to the friends property. And then we show that on the browser. So let's go there. And basically this is what it shows. And if you don't know friends just yet, um, you're probably a bunch younger than me. So go to Netflix and watch it. You'll love it. Anyways, um, so how I've done this, uh, you can actually make a server folder, then an API folder and put friends inside. And so now it will, if you query API slash friends, whatever is returned here will be whatever comes out of that endpoint in JSON, which is super easy and super convenient. And so right now, these are just two lines of a Friends episode that's quite iconic. And so I'm literally returning something here. What you can also do is an API call with fetch or something else to a third party script or a third party data source and then return that here. That just works. For me now, I just type this in because why not? Keep it simple, right? And so this is the simplest way you can do that. There are other options here. You have something called use lazy fetch or use async data. There's a whole bunch of things extra that you could use, but that's not for this tutorial. If you want to know more um, about how you can do more advanced things here, there will be other Turbo tutorials that dive deeper. Anyways, that's it. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Cheers. Cheers.